gentlemen, it is indeed an honor for me to preside over this event in, in the position of being the master of ceremonies. And uh, we, 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 we appreciate that you've taken your time and sacrificed uh, to come over here and to attend. On behalf of the Property Rights uh, Alliance and the Free Market Foundation, I welcome you to the international launch of the 2018 International Property Rights Index. We are indeed fortunate uh, this year to have with us Lorenzo Montenari, the Executive Director of the Property Rights Alliance, uh, the organization that actually updates and publishes the index, which is the International Property Rights Index. Lorenzo will tell us about the index the worldwide about the worldwide coalition of think tanks that constitute this network that, su that supports the publication and the vital role that uh, secure and protected property rights play in ensuring individual liberty and general uh, prosperity. We are also privileged to have with us uh, Professor Sario Levi Casiente. That sounds right, eh? and quite exotic, the pronunciation, that's what I'm talking about. From Venezuela, that's very interesting. The compiler, she's the compiler of the 2018 index. And uh, she has had the misfortune of observing firsthand the destruction of her country's economy by politicians who persuaded many of their fellow citizens many of their fellow citizens that the route to riches and an easy life was through disrespect for property rights, the looting of the assets of the producers of the goods and services uh, want, that are wanted by uh, and are in demand by consumers, and the destruction of the businesses of the providers of the jobs that allowed them to earn a living. Sadly, instead of riches and an easy life, the people of Venezuela have tasted the bitterness of poverty and hunger, like the experience of our neighbors in Zimbabwe, and as will the people of any country who rely on the words of politicians promising them other people's property. Secure property rights and freedom of the individual go together there cannot be freedom for some and not for others in the same country. And at this juncture, I wish to reflect on one of the issues that looms large on the political landscape, policy landscape in South Africa. In South this, South is Africa. this is the matter, the matter of, the, of, the of the resolution that's been adopted by Parliament, namely uh, the expropriation of land without compensation. It's a very, very topical issue that has very, very serious implications for this country. And so I think with the presentations that we will be listening to, that's going to enrich our rational sort of discourse in terms of engaging the issue of the, of the uh, expropriation uh, of land without property. It is a very, very, very serious issue. We know that if you start to mess with property rights, there are going to be consequences. Now, I'm not trying to advocate that we focus on that. This is not the business of the day. However, there'll be lessons drawn from the various presentations that we'll have that will be germane to this issue of expropriation of land without property. Without secure property rights, South Africa will not see the investment needed to provide the jobs needed to solve the country's mass unemployment situation. We have unemployed unemployment rate of above 40% in this country. We're talking about able-bodied people, many of them being long, young people. In fact, two-thirds of the unemployed people are young people below the age of, I think, 30 or 35. So we're talking about a politically volat potentially politically volatile situation. And um, I do hope that the people and government of South Africa will pay heed to the message that is contained in the International Property Rights Index, reduce the protection of, reduce the protection of property rights. If not at your peril, 
then at the peril of your children and grandchildren. 